Hi, my name is Chris Thomas. Welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to download some music and incorporate it into a video using Windows Movie Maker. Now this is a skill that's required under the Year 5 Narrative Unit 5, which is one all to do with film narrative. And you'll notice if we look at Phase 1, it's asking the children in particular to think about the meta language used to create moods. For example, how colour, light and sound all help to create a mood in a film. In this example, we're going to be using The Piano by Aidan Gibbons. So my first step is to import that movie into Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to double click on Windows Movie Maker. Now if you don't see those list of options on the left hand side, that could be because the task bar isn't shown. So to activate that, you just need to click on Tasks at the top. And the first thing we want to do is to import video. So I'm going to click on this and select my movie, The Piano, from my desktop. It's then going to just analyse that film, and in a moment that will have that imported, so we'll come back when that's done. OK, there we go, that's finished importing that film. Now I need to drag it down onto my timeline. My timeline is basically where I'm going to sequence all of my videos, my bits of music and things like that. There's two different views within Windows Movie Maker. There's this view here where each block represents a piece of film or there's the timeline where it basically shows you a film roll. I find this a lot, this one a lot easier to use, so I'm going to click and drag my film down there. Just then going to click on play to make sure it's worked okay, which it has. Okay, now I want to get rid of the music in this film, so I'm going to click on this plus button here and it's going to reveal the music that is linked to that film. And I'm going to right click on that and choose mute, so that does, isn't going to play anymore. So the next step is to find some music that I'd like to add to this film. And to do that, I'm going to use a website called CC Mixter. Now, CC Mixter is a website full of what's known as Creative Commons music. This is music that is free to use on things like what we're doing here. So I'm going to click on Remixes, and from here I want to browse for a particular type of track. Now, tracks have different tags depending upon what style of music they are. So if I click on the Show List under the Tags icon, I can actually select the tags that I'd like to use. So I'm going to click on the Piano tag because I'd like a piece of music with a piano in it. And I'm also going to click on the ambient tag because I'd like a piece of music that's quite slow and quite quiet to begin with. So let me just find the ambient tag. There it is. So once I've selected those two tags, I just need to click on See Results at the bottom and it's going to find all the pieces of music that match those styles. Now I've already decided that I'd like to use the Silence 2 track and I can preview that by clicking here and it's going to give me a quick mp3 preview. Okay, I think this should work quite well. So to download that track, I need to click on the i, the little information icon, and I need to download it from here. Now to actually save this to my desktop, I need to right click and choose Save Target As. And I'm going to save that into a folder called Music, which is just sitting on my desktop there. Now if you're using an Apple Mac, you'll control click on the icon rather than right click and choose save target as, but essentially it's the same process. So just going to wait for this file to download, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, there we go, that track has just about downloaded. Excellent, there we go. Right, the next track I'm going to find is a bit more sinister because I want to change the style of my music. So I'm going to turn off the ambient tag, still leaving the piano tag highlighted, but this time I'm going to select another tag called Industrial. And this is going to give me a track that's quite powerful and very different to the track we've just heard. So I'll click on Industrial tag and then select See Results from the bottom. Now again, I can use the little speaker icon to preview the track to make sure it's the one I'd like to use. Okay, I think that could work quite well. So to download it, click on the I, then right click and choose Save Target As on the download button. There we go. Okay, we'll come back in a moment when that track's downloaded. Okay, that track has just about downloaded. There we go. So I'm now done with my CC Mixer page, so I'm going to close that down and go back to Windows Movie Maker. So the next thing I want to do is to import those two music files. And to do that, I'm going to click on Import Audio or Music on the left-hand side. I want to find my music, which is in my Music folder on the desktop. And I want to bring in both those tracks. So I'm going to select them both and click on Import. And these are my two music tracks. Now I wanted to start with the Silence 2 track. So to use that in my movie, I simply need to click and drag it down 
and put it onto my timeline. Now the blue bar shows where this track is going to start and I want this to start right at the beginning of my movie so I'm going to put that right over on the left hand side. Okay let's see how that works. So at this stage we'll be able to talk with the children about how this music is changing the mood of the movie. Okay, that works quite well. I want to change the music when it comes to the war scene. So I'm just going to drag along until I can find that point. Okay, here we go. There we are, that's the point at which it's changing. Okay, I want to split this audio track in half at this point. So to do that, I'm going to go to Clip, Split. And what that's done is it's created two blocks now. This block here for the first half of that music track, and this block here for the second half of that music track. I actually want to delete the second one, and I'll do that by pressing the delete key on my keyboard, and now I can drag my second music track down onto my timeline. And I want to put that there where the first track ends. And this is going to give us quite an abrupt change in music. Okay, so that's given us quite an abrupt change in music, and again, we could talk to the children about the style and what that has done to the feeling of the film, but I really want to smooth off that transition. So what I'm going to do is click on my second music track and drag it to the left, and you'll notice we get this sliding blue bar. And what that's showing is how it's going to crossfade from one track to another. So it's going to fade the first track out so it gets quieter, and fade the second track up so it gets louder. The longer the blue bar, the longer the crossfade will be, which should mean a smoother transition, but sometimes you get a clash of notes, which can sound quite nasty. So I'm going to leave it around there. So now what I'll do is just preview that to see how that sounds. Okay, that seems to work quite well. I'm quite happy with how that's changed the mood and the feeling of this track. Okay, if I wanted to watch it in full screen, I simply click on the full screen icon here to go to full screen playback mode, and then it's gonna play me back my movie with my new music. Right, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it really useful. Thanks very much for watching.